So the question is very simple. The question says that two equal mass, they are moving in a circular path with constant speeds, all right? So it's not changing while they're moving. So how many collisions will happen till they meet again? And you have to consider that nothing is given, so it's all frictionless. The collision is elastic and the masses are equal. So one is moving with 2V and another one is moving with V. Then the question is that when they come back at point A, when they meet again at point A, before they meet, how many times have they collided? How many times has the collision happened? I'm not asking you not to touch your pen this time. Touch your pen. Try drawing the diagram. Try figuring out what is going on. This is how you learn. No problem if you are getting a wrong answer. It's totally all right. Most of the time, what I believe is what you learn from a mistake is much more than what you learn while you get a question correct. Okay. So when you get something wrong, you'll have a proper analysis of what is going on. And then the understanding is even better. So it's all right. It's totally fine to make a mistake. It's totally fine not to understand something. It means that you have an urge still that you want to learn it more and more. Nobody is perfect. No one. Not even me, not even you. We all are striving to learn every day and improve every day. And that should be your commitment to yourself. That I should be improving myself even by a factor of one person. That's also fine. But every day, one extra step is what is going to take you to. Remember. Right? So let's come back to this question. So how many collisions do you think before they meet again at point A? So you have got option A as one, option B is two, option C is three, and option D is four. 30 seconds. And then I'll start. Let's see. I'm waiting, guys. Come on. Post your answers fast. Do analysis. It's a very simple question. All right. Let's see. So now. For a proper understanding, what I have done is, since the speed is 2V and V, I have divided the circle into three parts, right? So let's see what goes on. So once it is started, then what happens? So this is traveling with 2V. This is traveling with V. Of course, this is with 2V. So this is going to cover a larger distance, right? So, which means if I divided the circle into three equal parts, okay, each having or each subtending an angle of 120 degrees each, right? So this is going to travel twice the distance as the blue ball, right? So red ball is going to travel initially more distance. Why? Because the velocity that it has is 2V. So how it looks like? It is going to meet exactly at this point. First collision. Count the number of collisions. That is very important. But once they have met over here, once they have met over here, their velocities will get exchanged. That's the game, guys. That's the game because they're of equal masses. The collision is elastic in nature. So the velocities will get exchanged. And if the velocities gets exchanged, this starts traveling with 2V now, and this starts traveling with V. Next, what happens? Next, you see the second collision. Now it starts traveling faster, and they are going to meet at this point. Again, when they are meeting, now this blue one was traveling with 2V, correct? And this red one was traveling with V, isn't it? Now their velocities will get exchanged again and the red one will now have a velocity of 2v and this is going to have a velocity of Okay, again, let's start from the beginning. So how many collisions we have counted? One collision, two collision. Okay, is there any more? So the first collision happened over there, velocities got exchanged. Now again got exchanged, now red one has and they meet again. So this is again point A. So they meet again at point A. When they meet again at point A, how many collisions have happened? Collision number one and collision two. Two collisions have already happened, isn't it? So how many collisions before they meet again at point A? Two. And for those of you who have answered two, well done, guys. Good job. You have understood the core of this concept. Well done. And for those who did not get it, all right, no problem. You learned something. You learn something that you did not know before coming to this class. So there is a takeaway. Go ahead again after this is over. Just analyze this question one more time and I'm sure you'll get it. And once you get it, you're going to enjoy it even more. Okay. 
So let's see this one final time. So once 2B and B it goes and hits, velocity gets exchanged. Again, second number of collision and third time they meet again, which means the total number of collisions that took place before they again arrived at point A was equal to 2. So which option comes out to be correct? Yes, it's option B that's right for this particular question.